Hello, welcome to your weekly tip. I'm Adam Shawberg, Senior Audiologist at Cubex Audiology, and welcome back. Today I'd like to share with you um, some information about the noisy world that we live in and the risk that we all put ourselves under every single day. T, today. So just today I travelled to work on the train and what a noisy train it was. Um, but we're all completely unaware of the noise. We, we just carry on doing our thing and um, constantly expose ourselves to very high levels. We step out onto the street and on the street there's construction. Um, we step into a somewhere for breakfast perhaps um, and have something lovely to eat, go downstairs, wash our hands. The noise of the hand dryer is phenomenally loud, phenomenally loud. As audiologists, we measure noise levels in decibels. And broadly speaking, the louder the sound and the longer you expose yourself to that sound, the greater the dosage, the more likely you are to cause long-term harm. And it's really surprising the levels of some of the noises that we expose ourselves to every day. Hand dryers, sometimes if you're standing on the platform, you can be exposing yourselves to 120 decibels, which is already an unsafe level. You can expose yourself to levels around 85, 86, 87 for a reasonable amount of time, but 120, um, you're only really safe for maybe five minutes, not much more than that. The minute you hear ringing in your ears, then you know that some damage has occurred. Normally things will settle back down, the ringer will disappear, your hearing levels will return to normal, and everything's absolutely fine. But the more you put yourself at risk, the more you expose yourself to those levels, the more dangerous it becomes. Personally, we work with a lot of, a lot of patients, a lot of people who expose themselves to noise every day. This might be an industry, so we work with musicians, um, we work with people that work in construction sites, um, and we see the damage that has occurred over a long period of time. That constant exposure, that acceptance of noise, the lack of protection in many cases, um, can create very long-term challenges, not just with hearing, with tinnitus, but also with communication with your loved ones because if you have reduced hearing, it affects communication, it affects you and it affects everyone around you, and that's when it really becomes serious. So, broadly speaking, the message is be aware, protect yourself if you think you are at risk, and that might mean moving away from the noise source as well as actually covering over your ears or protecting them with something, just be aware. For more information, please visit our website www.cubex.co.uk and we'd be happy to answer any further questions that you might have. Thank you very much.